Hi everyone, welcome to this other edition of Photography Talk. Hope you had a great week and enjoy everything you've been up to. Today we're gonna be talking about abstract. I'm revealing to you for the first time my series of abstract photography. So uh, first of all, what does abstract mean? It is an adjective very known into the art industry. And uh, for a self-taught photographer like myself, uh, you, you might guess that it was quite difficult to, to incorporate that kind of techniques uh, in order to have a, a series of photography done. I just went to internet and checked the, you know, the meaning of abstract. For some of you that might not know uh, what it means, I asked Google the meaning of abstract and this is what came up. Existing in thought or as an idea but not having a physical or concrete existence. Powerful, isn't it? When I had an idea of uh, creating abstracted photography in order to narrate something that we all go through sometime, which is worry about our future, questioning ourselves uh, about who are we going to become in life in future when we grow older. Um, when I was growing up at about um, 16 years old, 16 to 17 years old, uh, we used to, you know, like myself and my cousins and other brothers we will sit down and just you know and just predict the future and we will ask ourselves questions like who do you think you gonna become I remember saying that um, I'm giving myself up to 30 years old and if I haven't uh, achieved some things by that age, then I will give up on everything. So this is this is what I was thinking, which is normal. You know, as a kid, we don't look at the world the same way. We have that kind of high energy, so ambitious and also so innocent at the same time. Look at myself today. I'm 36 and things are seen flying around, you know, not balancing the way I thought at this age I was going to be. Uh, this is the reason why I had this series of photographs, you know, in order to to let you see the way I think. All right, let's look at abstract from a painting perspective. I know a, a Cameroonian painter uh, called Jibri Linjum, and he painted this. Jibri had this painting in his collection. This is a beautiful painting. Looking at this painting, you can't really see what's going on because it's abstracted. And Jibri produced this uh, a specific work to actually communicate on the... Um, let me show you what Jibri says about this painting. For Jibri, uh, this is the face of the African ancestor guiding us in a strange world. Wow. That's, that's, that's pretty cool and deep. Jibri is a South African based Cameroonian uh, artist and is doing a fantastic job. Follow him on Facebook to discover uh, what he thinks and the way he sees the world. Today's theme is actually uh, based on, on abstract and I'm showing you for the first time my series of abstract photographs. I will invite you to, to listen to a conversation that I had with a friend, you know, based on the illusion that we drawn ourselves in some time, projecting things that doesn't exist or projecting things that we don't have control on. Abstract photography uh, in an African perspective is still a a little bit uh, a way to, to find photographers in the continent. Having a series of uh, abstracted photographs uh, was uh, the only way uh, I thought I could, uh, you know, uh, interpret this kind of mindset by driving the viewer's uh, attention into the way I see the world. Having these uh, abstracted images uh, was the perfect uh, medium for, you know, for communicating visually in, in this manner. Unfortunately, uh, most people still believe that success is based on the amount of money you have into your bank account, uh, based on the size of the house you're living in, or the type of car you drive. Ultimately, uh, success should be based on the kind of action we undertake on a daily basis in order to impacting uh, other people's lives and making a world a better place. There are just some uh, kind of situation that you cannot describe using a, 
a conventional uh, photographs. Having images like this one that shows you a place that exists but that you cannot define where it is. It's all about using the medium of uh, photography to communicate actually uh, what I think and also what goes in my mind uh, when I lift up the camera on the street to to photograph a, a space or or any subject that means something to me. Though we look um, into the same direction, we might not see things the same way. You don't want to guess uh, what was photographed or, or where the subject was photographed. However, if you actually go deep into the picture, the picture might say something to you, might communicate something to you. Taking a picture is beyond having fun. And it's very important to you approach it uh, from an angle where uh, it might come up not to be very unique in an angle that creates emotion to the viewer. Art photography have played a huge role into the societies around the world. If people could see the world the way I see uh, through this photograph, then there's nothing to be more happy about, you know, than moving on and get great pictures every day, working on personal project, and it's just quite amazing to see how uh, my work can touch life and create emotion within people that watch it. When you lift up the camera to to capture a moment, uh, you don't you don't actually know uh, that that moment can change someone's life and there's nothing to be more happy about. I'm so grateful having this conversation as uh, I urge everyone watching this video and all my photographs that's going um, that's going on at the same time you know to start thinking uh, differently and use the resources we have to you know to impact in people's life and stop uh, worry about the future or worry about our success thank you for watching by listening to what i've been saying we should question ourselves on what is it that we think it's success what is success for you how do you think you could be in order for you to know that you are a successful person in life and i'm leaving you in this question i would like you to let me know what you think in the comment section hope you enjoyed this other edition of photography Talk. it was a very quick one uh, please make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel so that we can build a better community that impacts other people until then take care of yourself and i will see you in the next video